Oh my God. He did it. Wow, that scene. Whew. Okay, Christina here to watch another movie. And today's movie is An Officer and a Gentleman. It stars Richard Gere and Deborah Winger. I love romance movies. And it's weird that I haven't seen this one, but great, because now I can watch it on the channel. So this is perfect for the month of February. Celebrate some Valentines. I do know one famous scene. I haven't seen the scene in the movie, but I've seen it recreated in other movies and other TV shows, like it was on The Simpsons once. So I know that the guy is carrying the woman and they're leaving some place. <laughs> so now I'll finally know the backstory to whatever that is. This is also a special request from Patreon. My very top tier over on Patreon gets to choose one movie a month that I react to. And this movie was chosen by the one true Chris. Thank you for your support. And I am excited to watch this movie. Speaking of Patreon, don't forget to do all the things like and subscribe, Instagram, Patreon. It all really helps support the channel. Feel free to leave some comments on the video as well. I love to read them. I reply to pretty much all of them. Tell me what you thought of this movie. Is there good music in it? I always love to discuss the soundtracks. It's a lot of fun. Okay, enough talking. Let's watch. It's a romance. I'm super excited. So is there any comedy in this? Oh, Richard Gere. With dark hair. Okay, Seattle. Wow. 1982. Whoa. Hello. Um, uh, okay. Hey, kid. Are you Zach? Yes, sir. I'm Byron. Nice to meet you. Oh, that's that guy there? I recognize him. What's he from? So we call the Philippine Islands. Zach, I'm sorry about what happened to your mom. Is that his dad? I would have called you a lot sooner, but I was out of sea. I've been crying for four months. Oh, my goodness. I was out of sea for four months. Mm. Is that his dad? Or is it an uncle? Or? What happened to your mother had nothing to do with me. It did. He said he was going to come back for us. And she believed you. You're a liar. Wow. Childhood trauma. It's rough stuff. Sometimes you just really carry it with you. And what happened to his mother? Oh, okay. No. No. No, thanks. Sorry. Ouch. So did he find some good friends? That's what I thought. I don't have any money. Oh, round, what is that, roundhouse? Oh, they got his money. This poor kid. <laughs> wow, he really looks like him. I love it when there's a good match like that. Good morning. Yeah. I joined the Navy. Like father, like son. Jets. Wanna fly jets? It's like Top Gun. <laughs> What's so funny? Officers don't have tattoos. I don't want to see you do something you're going to regret. So how old is he supposed to be now? Like 18? Sounds like you're afraid you might have to salute me someday, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> see, it says join the Navy. 
Don't go away, man. Hey, baby. Zach! Wow. He's out of there. So you can't have tattoos? To be an officer? Is that uh, lift us up where we belong? Is that song from this? Louis Gossett Jr. No, oh, what was he in? Where, where do I know him from? It's like another military thing. Is it um something eagle? And it's f more pilots and flying and stuff. Naval Aviation. So this is Top Gun. <gasps> Sharp. I said fall in, you slimy worms. Slimy worms. Where you been all your lives? In an orgy? One of them was. Just the night before. Oh, this is Dad's. Give the Navy six years of your life, sweet pea. Understand? Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing, Sarge? I am not a you boy. A you is a female sheep boy. Where are you from, boy? Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, sir. Ah. Well, two things come out of Oklahoma. Steers and queer. Okay. What's your name, boy? Zach Mayo, sir. Oh, don't rip out. I can take the skin off. Ow. Out of them wings. They're the only ones you're gonna leave here with. Mayonnaise. Mm. I expect to lose half of you from Philip. The flight education worth one million dollars. First, you got to get past me. Okay. <laughs> Hi there and welcome. Oh, is that Deborah Winger? I think it is. Contraceptives, I got that all taken care of. Because a future deal will do anything and say anything to trap you. Okay, so we're going straight from the factory to the base. Little girl poopies to the left, little boy poopies to the right. <laughs> Not supposed to do that. I'd expect you to get down there. <laughs> Those are selling bunks, huh? <laughs> well, I guess it's uh yeah, it's survival of the fittest, so you know, if you steal a bunk, steal a bunk, I guess. Say ya, mail, Wally! Get over there and give me fifty! On the double! <laughs> you think flying a plane is just sitting on a chair pushing buttons? Maybe you need a little work in your upper body strength, cigar. Yeah. All right, all right. Get up. Can't do it. Not built for it. Mm hmm. He just warned you. Look at the poopies. This poor guy. Don't worry, it grows out about an inch by there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, like little hamsters. <laughs> Word. An MC Escher. I still can't believe that they shaved Richard Gere's head. That beautiful hair, all gone. Except vomit. Wow. <laughs> they ran right through him. That could be you at the end of yeah, the hair was about an inch longer, so. You are without a doubt the most pathetic class I've ever been assigned to. <laughs> Weeks and you still can't shine a damn buckle. Bounce a coin off of the. Contraband. Ooh, look at that. Ten bucks. Who the hell's got ten bucks? <laughs> I spent every penny they pay me around here to keep my old lady and my kid in that motel. Mm. Mm. This is making me tired. Just watch all of this. Woo wee. <laughs> it does look fun though. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. I'm not 
bad. You're a beginner. <laughs> Piece of cake. <kiss. laughs> He's wanting more approval. Come on, come on. You really want to be a man, Cigar? Your mental attitude of a person of the female persuasion. You're still thinking like a second class citizen, aren't you, Cigar? You can never give orders to men. Walk around, sugar bridges. <laughs> it's a party. Good job, guys. Scoping the target area. <laughs> Don't laugh, he's trying hard. Score. Doing better than you guys are doing. <laughs> Aww. Oh. In office romance. With pleasure. Get them away from her husband. I hope you have a good time. You know, we already met. You did? Said he would grow an inch by now. And they were right. That was you guys? <laughs> the leftovers. Who are you from, Mail the Walk? We live in ports all over the world Moscow, Nairobi. Really? Wait a minute. You're kidding mm. me, right? We don't have any naval bases in Moscow. <laughs> no. <laughs> I heard about these girls. I don't really seem good with my husband. Not me. I work over at National Paper. I save enough money to travel. I think I'd like to go to Moscow. <laughs> and visit the base, the U.S. base in Moscow. <laughs> Father and my brother both made it through it, so I guess I can too. Oh, is your brother a fire? Oh. Vietnam? Yeah. Mm. My brother died over there too. Mind if we talk about something else? I can't stop looking at her lipstick. It's gonna end up all over him. Very, very, very pretty girl. Ooh. Are they gonna get like tapped on the shoulder? Do you wanna go somewhere else? <laughs> no, the dance floor is fine. Okay. I'll respect you in the morning. Ooh, love is in the air. And in the back seat of the car. <laughs> car's taken. Let's go down the beach. Yeah, because the car's taken. It sounds good. Get sand up your butt. Okay. Hey everyone, sorry to interrupt. I'll make this quick. I just wanted to quickly mention what's going on over on Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a really great place to support artists and creators. You can join for free and just kind of hang out and see there are some things that I post for everybody. At the $2 level, you get behind the scenes stuff and you get to take part in polls to decide what I watch. For a dollar more, you can have your name mentioned in the shout outs that scroll at the beginning and end of each of the videos. At the $5 tier, you get access to all of the TV shows. The TV shows that I am currently watching are all of these. So sorry to have to throw in this little infomercial, but I just want everyone to know that that's there because it's a really fun place to be. I chat with everybody. We get to know one another. It's a lot of fun and it supports the channel. I can't do it without you. Okay, enough talking. Let's get back to watching. Oh, martial arts. Hello, pussy. Hi. <laughs> Break loose! I got it. And the only thing between you and the POW camp is what you learn from me. All now right. that I got your attention. Was that, was that really him? I'm a socialite Oki like you ought to be a big catch. An Oki. If you're from Arkansas, you're an Arky. I spent six years at the right on top of the largest warehouse in P.I. Yeah. Long time, short time, ten dollars, cheap, cheap. Great education for a kid. <laughs> Don't waste any time. Who gets the back seat this time? Gonna cause some trouble. A nice Mickey Mouse sweatshirt, dude. 
make way for the war mongers. Just walk away. Yeah, all right. Yeah, just walk away. I don't think that's going to be the end of it. No, here they come. Oh, no. Okay, I do not want to fight. So I just go back inside and pull the yeah. Wow, okay. He picked those moves up. What else was he supposed to do? Yeah, you should have. You, you should have. Zach, he didn't give you a choice. I had a choice. I was always got a choice. But, yeah, well... I'm conflicted. Boy, it really killed the mood, huh? You know, Zach, it wouldn't kill you to open up to me a little bit. Get on the bed, take your clothes off. I'm trying to be your friend, Zach. Get out of here. You know, man, you ain't nothing special. And if you ask me, you ain't got no chance of being no officer. Ouch. Oh, he really had it coming, though. Oh, watch out. Oops. Chain. <laughs> so they were having fun making up there, but that was kind of an abusive exchange. Are you hungry? Well, no, I'm hungry. I want breakfast. It's super late right now. It's late at night, but I'll have breakfast anytime. And what do you want? Oh, I want to have a good time until you have to leave. This life was incredible. I thought so too. I mean, how can you resist all the candy? <laughs> Better than candy. Sugar bridges. <laughs> I'm cringing at the floor of the motel. Motel carpet. Where did I go? I was about to thank you for breakfast. He took like two bites. It flips upside down. Oh, that's kind of scary. Oh, nope. Mm, mm, nope, nope, nope. Not. You're gonna be disoriented. You're not gonna know what your bearings are. The bubbles will determine which way is up. Okay. Out there in the Pacific, you won't have a frog man to save your ass. Okay, follow the bubbles. Got that locked in, okay. You're next. Uh, you ought to be good at this, man. Something you can do alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, follow the bubbles. Follow the bubbles. He did it! Good job. I wouldn't have given him that finger. Follow the bubbles. You can do it. Not bad, Ziggy, but you still gotta get over that wall. The dang wall. We all have our own kind of wall, don't we? Prepare for inspection. Try to the lock, thank you. You know where the hardware store is? It's gonna get him kicked out. You need a buckle, man. I can't risk it. Uh-oh. Did he hear all of that? There's always one joker who thinks that he's smarter than me. Oops. I want to DOR. No, sir. By the end of this weekend, you quit. Room and land of a hundred! Come down and fuck everyone! <laughs> Four of them! Get your face all the way down in there. Are you kidding? Ugh. You ready to quit now, Mayo? I look through your files. I know about your mama. You know that all these other boys and girls are better than you. I'm not right, man. No, sir! What's the matter, Mayo? You getting tired? Mm-hmm. I'm not tired. Pull it! He's really having fun, too, though. I mean... <laughs> Ooh. That, like, planking. I'm gonna play jet, sir. I'm talking about flying, I'm talking about character. I've changed since I've been here. Now tell me what I want to hear. I want your D.O.R. Oh, you're gonna quit. You and your daddy can get drunk. You're out. Don't! I got nowhere else to go! I got nothing else. On your feet. Does he get to stay? Wow. I didn't know Richard Gere had it in him. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> He's over the moon to have you still there. <laughs> Take a look at that. Aww. That son of a bitch. 
character. Ooh. My goodness. Well, it's quite the scene. Cute. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. I'd love to be one of those girls they're letting in the flight program. Hmm. So let's stop on it. I don't know. It's not so easy for a girl. There's still no excuse if you're not going out and getting what you want. Okay, an officer and a gentleman. And who says I'm not going after what I want? Does she end up joining? My mom is 39 years old. She still works here for that factory. My old lady. Oh. Two bottle of pills went bad from the school. Mm. I think she just checked out. I was hated her for that. That must have really hurt. You're all alone in the world. That's not to me. I bet most people would buy that line when you feed it to them. <laughs> Okay, there's the connection. She sees right through him. Wow, that scene. Whew. Would you let yourself get pregnant? No way, Lynette. Come on, would you? I think she already did. We're getting pregnant. I mean, I can't even believe you had that thought. And then ditch us like we was trash. No, mm -hmm. I never feel like that. Well, I do. Thanks again for the flowers, Zach. She's 39? <laughs> and so is he? <laughs> How many more weeks till graduation? Oh, uh, three more. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? He doesn't mean anything by it, Zach. Oh, I don't think he does. Here we go, Zach. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Zach. Thanks again, man. Yeah, and what would you do different? First, I'd marry a man I really loved. So why'd your mom marry this guy if she didn't love him? Because my real father wouldn't marry her. Pop. He looks just like my dad. Wait a minute. An officer's candidate like me. Yeah, about 22 years ago. <laughs> Jesus. No wonder this guy was looking at me funny. If you're Kansas, we punch me and call him. Yeah, that's right. I had the survival training this week. Can't make any promises. Then Paula still seeing those flight candidates over to the base? Why? Got any reason to think we wouldn't be? Hi, uh, uh, I'd like to speak with Zach Mayo. Well, could you look around for him? Tell him it's Paula. Tell her I already split. That's not very nice. He hadn't called by now, Paula. He ain't gonna call. Paula, what are you doing? Don't do it, Paula. I have to. I love him. Please don't. <laughs> Crying about. I know what you're feeling. You'll say anything, baby. You will. You're right. <laughs> Who is this Susan anyway? This my girl back home. I'm married as soon as I can get out of here. She was Tommy's girl before he got killed. What? Do you love this girl? The greatest chick you ever wanted out. I asked you if you loved her. Everybody loves her. You should have done what I did, man. Just break it off clean, have it done with. She was pretty torn up you didn't call her. Ghosting her, basically. Let's say, yeah, a good time. A lot of laughs, no problems. Doesn't work that way, does it? Well, you could have just said, I need to break it off now, instead of leave her hanging. That's not very nice. Shouldn't you touch your period by now? I'm a little late, that's all. Mm -mm. I'd never try to make you do something you didn't want to do. If I got you pregnant, then I'm going to do the right thing by you. I'm going to pay for the abortion. So how late are you? Yeah, that's why she brought it up on the ferry. Mayonnaise. <laughs> what do their sweatshirts say? The what eaters? Ooh, that's real. Barbed wire. Ouch. Fire eaters. <laughs> Let me worry. <laughs> 
Those are great. Oh, you changed? Okay. Oh, here comes the wall. Come on, you can do it! Aww. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, you're so close! Come on! Quit crying! Get over the wall! Come on! Yay. Lover boy. She went to the doctor, she had the test, she's pregnant. Say, you're not gonna marry this girl. Can't let her go off and have a kid by herself. My kid too. You sure? Mm -hmm. Mine. It's the same damn thing as your brother. Him getting killed instead of you. Bullshit code of ethics you picked up from your family. But I wasn't raised that way. I'm just not like you, Mayo. You got a lot bigger problems than making some girl pregnant. Relax. Okay. Uh, his family ethics. Do you think he would have gotten himself in that predicament to begin with? Oh. He's out. Did I tell you what he's been going through? It doesn't matter what he's been going through. It can still yeah. happen to you too, mayonnaise. Shut I'm up, talking dude. to you, motherfucker. What did you call me? I don't get this. He's the best candidate in the class. Best friend to everybody. Except Susan. I went to him. What are you oh. talking about? He wasn't here for me. He was right. I was here for everybody but me. See? Wait a minute. Oh my god. Oh, oh, yes. oh Sid, I wonder where we're gonna get stationed first. Oh, I hope we get to Hawaii. <laughs> Honey, we're not gonna get stationed anywhere. I DOR. You what? What do we do? Where would we go? Oklahoma. I'm gonna get my old job back at JC Penney's. Hell, in two years, I'll be floor manager. Money might be a little tight at first, so we might have to live here at home. There's no baby. What? what? There's no baby, Sid. We said we'd get married anyway. I love you. I don't think I really knew that till just now. Just <laughs> a second. Lynette marry me. Make me the happiest man in the whole world. I'm sorry, Sid. Thanks. I don't want to marry you. <sighs> I want to marry a pilot. I want to live my life overseas. Nobody DORs after 11 weeks. Wow. I did not think that was going to go that way. I thought she was going to say yes. Same room? Yes, sir. Looks nice. Watch this. I think you'll like it. <gasps> oh, my God. I don't think he liked it. <laughs> Lynette. Tell him what happened. What did you tell him about the baby? That there isn't one. He still wanted to marry me. I don't want no Oki from Muskogee. Who the hell do you think you are? Playing with people like that. You made this whole thing, didn't you? God, I'd never lie about something like that. Would I, Paula? You're no different than I am, Paula. Oh, yes, I am. He's there. It's not going to be good. Not good. Not good. Sid? Sid? Oh, no. Sid, you okay? No. No. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh. Call an ambulance. <laughs> Oh, his parents are going to be devastated. 
Everybody's going to be devastated. Like your mom. Well, another heavy scene for Richard Gere. I spoke to the chaplain over at the base and he said he'd call six parents. Is that a giant tree? You didn't kill your mother. Wow. You didn't kill Sid. They killed themselves. Another class will be coming through soon. You and I right back into business. That's not good. Mm. Yeah, low blow. I love you. Don't you understand? No! I don't want anyone to love me. Men of left, left, right, left, right. Leo, the whole class knows about Candidate Wally. And we saw me. Mm hmm. Just making it worse, babe. I came back to quit. D O R. Hold! Now! They're gonna duke it out? Fall out! This is between me and him. <laughs> they don't know what to do. Let's go see what's going on. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> I see you've had some training, man, eh? Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh, oh. oh. Your blood is red as mine, isn't it, Mayo? Oh, oh. Ouch. <laughs> you can quit now, Mayo, if you want to. It's up to you. So did he quit? I don't see him yet. Still looking for his face. Well, and there he is. <laughs> Congratulations, Ensign Mayo. I want to forget you, soldier. I know. <laughs> what made this in for you? The hell out of you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Look at that uniform in the middle of that factory. What do you think, Mom? Wow. Knight in shining armor. She looks so cute in her little hat. Um. <laughs> oh, she's jealous. Okay, that's a good friend. I think this might be the scene. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Put the hat on again. Okay. Okay. Whew. So he was both an officer and a gentleman. This was a fairy tale in real life. One of those movies that really depicts like the harsh tones of reality didn't hold back. <laughs> I mean, that's life. Life is blood and being naked and having fights and getting mad and People living or dying, that, that, <laughs> that sums up our existence, right? And so I guess it's what you do with it that counts. Building your character, yourself and those around you. Striving to live a better future, maybe than your past. Because you know what? You can't control what's in your past, but you can control what's in your future. And all of that is decided on what you do in the present. So these two characters, Richard Gere and Deborah Winger, their characters, babies. They're like 22 years old. I think that's what she was saying. I think maybe her mom had more trauma than she did, but I'm sure she, she grew up with the stigma, you know, of what happened to her mom. I don't think that her upbringing was quite the same as his. 
So she had to live with the stigma, how she came to be, and he had to live alone. So they had to sort of learn to love themselves before they could love each other. But I think that happened all at the same time. Like they realized they loved each other and there was some of that connection that really, I think it really came through. At first I was having trouble being convinced, but I think I, I think I was convinced by the end that they had that connection, you know? But you can't use someone else to fill in something missing within yourself. You have to fill that yourself and then let the other person be a compliment to that rather than a supplement. Now I'm starting to sound like a therapist or something. I'm not a therapist. <laughs> I just believe in being self-aware as best you can. And I think undeniably this had to do with that journey. And then also accepting your success, accepting love, accepting happiness saying that you deserve happiness. Wow, it's all in there. Okay, so it's a fairy tale love story, but with a whole lot of cursing. <laughs> Excellent date night movie. I can see why this was a big hit back in 1982. <laughs> and Richard and Deborah were super cute, super young. It was before he started to go gray. It was, it was more gray, like salt and pepper and pretty woman, right? And I think I've seen him in some more recent things where it's I just always pictured him like that and not with the dark hair. So to me, it's like seeing Steve Martin with dark hair just doesn't quite fit yet. At the same time, very handsome. I was sad to see the hair go at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> you might've been too. Anyway, well, you can't go back and film any of those scenes once you've shaved everything off. That always makes me nervous. Okay. It's obvious why this is a total classic. Thanks again to the one true Chris for suggesting this one. I think it's the perfect kind of romance that everybody can enjoy. I am seeing that it is funny though, that it's um, basically the, the prequel to Top Gun. So that's interesting. Well, don't forget to do all the things, like and subscribe, check things out on Instagram and on Patreon where you can support the channel. And thanks for coming along and watching this movie with me. And however you celebrate Valentine's Day, I appreciate the company. And as always, you don't have to be perfect, just be okay. <laughs> <laughs>